let's talk about posting. Okay, so there are a few different ways to post. There is an opportunity post, there is just like a personal lifestyle post, and there is a product post. So when you join, you more than likely did not really care about like your posts as much as we would. So one thing I'm going to ask you to do is to stop sharing other people's content on your Facebook because your Facebook is your business right now. This is how people are going to see you. You do not have to live a perfect lifestyle. If you go to my Facebook, I am 100% not perfect. I'm just laying it all out there. But you do not want people seeing other posts, other people's posts over yours. So when you are sharing content on your Facebook, like let's say somebody posted a really funny video and you repost it to your wall, the algorithm of Facebook is going to show that over like a post that you did yourself. So we want to stay away from hitting that share button. Just try. I know it's really hard, but just try not to hit that share button all the time. So next, your upline will be able to help you out with like these posts until you kind of get the hang of it. It's hard. It is hard to kind of think of things. So when you are doing product posts, we want you to stick with like the same product throughout every week. Um, or you can maybe switch it up once, like once a week, like maybe post about a different product. So one thing, if you know me, you know, I love the coffee and I talk about our coffee nonstop. So I will usually make a post or I'll go live on my Facebook talking about my coffee and I'm not, you don't want to be scammy with it. You don't want to use really bad quality pictures. So when you're taking pictures, there is a few apps, which I will talk about in just a little bit on apps. Um, but when you're taking pictures, you want to have nice and clear, bright opening pictures, something that would draw your attention. You want people's attention to get drawn into you. So when let's just say we're making a post about the coffee, you're going to have a few points that you want to touch on, which your upline will definitely help you with. What the coffee does is it helps boost your metabolism, cuts cravings, keeps you full, gives you energy and helps you focus. Those are the main five points that you want to talk on. But I mean, if you are just using the coffee for the energy, you can talk about just the, the energy, maybe throw in a little bit that helps you lose weight, whatever you want, um, whatever fits you the most and whatever your audience you feel like would really want to hear. So let's say I'm making a post about the coffee. So I'm taking a picture. Let's say this is a coffee cup. We can just pretend it's iced coffee. Just taking a picture with my coffee and I'm going to throw a filter on it write these down. Here's a few apps. Um, Pixar, Photoshop, Lightroom, and Over. Over is my number one editing app for um, helping with like putting graphics on stuff. So like putting stuff on your story. I don't want to throw you all over the place, but if you can put like get presets off of um, Lightroom, that is the best editing app that I have. It is free. You can brighten up your pictures really, really easily. It is super simple to use. If you have questions, there will be a tutorial on it. You can look it up. Just type in um, Lightroom onto your YouTube and you should be good to go. So we're going to make this picture bright, a picture of me and my coffee. And I'm just going to open it up with whatever I'm feeling that day. So I'm exhausted. Thank you, Jesus, for this coffee. Um, it has helped me lose 65 pounds. Um, I love how it helps me focus. It gives me energy, and I'm not snacking all day, and it burns my fat. Who wants to give it a try? You want to end it with opening it up for them or telling them that they'll get a discount. They'll get a 40% discount, which I will talk about in the next video. Um, but you want to open it up to them, and you want to have – you want it to be a good post. We want to stay away from like negativity and stuff. So next we're going to talk about like a lifestyle post. So if you're a mom, I can relate with moms really good because I am a mom. I'm a stay at home mom. Um, I would talk about just maybe a post a picture of my kids and talk about what they did throughout the day. Like when my kids said something funny, I'd be like, oh my gosh, Paxton just said the funniest thing ever. You guys will never believe this. Post it. You can use that as a lifestyle post. You could even go to Pinterest and find a really good quote about being a mom having a crazy, like, hectic life, like, I do this all the time, and I'll post it, and I get a lot of interactions, and you guys, if somebody is sharing your post, then it's going to boost your algorithm, and I love sharing those quotes because it helps boost my algorithm, um, and then an opportunity post, so you guys, this might be a really hard one for you, um, it's basically sharing your story, so you just joined, so you're probably thinking, I don't have a story, like, this business hasn't really done anything for me yet, but I, I've seen Whoever I join under really changed their life with this. So your story did not start when you started at works. Your, sorry, my dogs are getting into something. Your story started a long time ago. What is the reason why you joined this team? 
Really think hard. What are your what is your reason? And what are your goals? These are the main points I want to talk to. The reason why you joined, what your goals are, how this is going to help you or your family, and then open it up and be like, if you can relate with me, drop a fire emoji if you want more information about what I do. Open it up. You always want to open everything up to somebody else. So I really hope that helps you guys out. Also, one thing, do not lose your personality in your post. Do not make it sound like super scripty, scripty, super salesy. We'll help you figure out the good rhythm for you. So I'm excited. Get to posting.